G'day, I'm Ash, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are primarily going to be looking at things that I would like to have in air realistic battles. This is in no particular order, and there's probably a bunch of other things that I've forgotten, but this is all I could come up with on the top of my head. But most importantly, these are features and additions and obviously gameplay changes that I'd like to see to air realistic battles. This doesn't pertain to air arcade, it doesn't pertain to any other game mode or simulator. Uh, it just pertains to that of air realistic battles because let's be honest here uh, at the moment the game mode is a kind of a bit stale and uh, there are a few things that i'd like starting off with new afterburner models the current ones are way too bright i'd like to see more realistic burners the length of the flame is also inaccurate as well they're kind of just shooting out a flame like 20 30 meters beyond the aircraft in the real world it's sort of a more subtle uh, a nuance and I'd like to actually have proper afterburners at least displayed. Speaking of afterburners, I'd like to also have a fuel indicator for jets. Particularly with the multi-stage afterburners, this would allow for an optional setting to see, I don't know, maybe an estimated fuel amount based on the current afterburner stage that we would. Or at least an indicator of sorts to allow us on our, you know, stat screen on the top to see what stage we are in to allow us to you know have finer control or just be a bit of uh how should i say a bit nerdy another visual change at least in terms of quality of life is wingtip vortices and overall wing vortices or the, the the cloud of vapor you see when jets engage in a high g maneuver essentially it's the white cloud that is more interesting and, and potentially violent, uh, violent. I'm not talking about when you go supersonic and you have the cone. This is more like uh, water vapor that, that uh, creates uh, where, where uh, a high zone pressure is underneath the wing and a low pressure is above the wing. And when you see pictures of this sort of turning or aircraft turning really sharply, the aerodynamics on an aircraft change uh, uh, drastically and so a nice visual touch would be especially in a high g maneuver to have these things in place now next thing i'd particularly like to see is a pylon warning system that tells you how much sweep you can swing your wings at whilst equipping the outer wing pylons or you know pylons in general for example, in the mod menu where you have custom loadouts, I understand as it is currently, you can basically see what uh, is underweight and you can't necessarily put uh, one side of wings uh, with one pylon or else it's unbalanced. So maybe adding to that, a, a pylon warning system that tells you can't equip certain things and this would allow for a greater uh, sort of immersion but uh, also telling you at what angle you could sweep your wings and so just generally increasing the information there on the loadout screen bit of a weird one anyway the servers need to be improved is my next sort of category you know imagine having 230,000 players online especially after a major update and you don't invest in your server infrastructure it was absolutely horrible playing on on us servers and horrible playing on any server packet loss and random other things happening long time to load into matches shells not registering and no this isn't just an australian internet problem this was genuinely a problem when the player base was that high in short either get more servers or diversify the regions and allow for i don't know better connections i understand war thunder is one of the least taxing internet sort of draining games but maybe it's time we you know upgraded the coding and maybe some of the network uh, abilities of war thunder to allow for for more streamlining another minor change i'd like to see is an upgrade to stack cards now i did mention this before with the pylons but maybe when you hover over a stat card currently in war thunder it doesn't tell you the thrust to weight ratio which is an important statistic when you're talking about jets specifically for jet engines so i'd like to see uh, that they include thrust to weight ratios either in the stat card or on the vehicle preview panels or even on the engine preview when you go into the the you know the radar sort of uh, uh, 3d x-ray mode uh, because these some of these ratios are actually listed on war thunder wiki underneath the statistics and most aircraft have them so why not put them in game i can't really think of any other aviation terminology that would actually be useful inside the stat card that we don't have for top tier jets 
but uh, let me know in the comments down below if you if you have any ideas next one is a simple keybind for flares and chaffs essentially just separate the two if i want to have uh my chaffs go off or want to have my flares go off i'd like to have that individual control i mean i know you can select the type of flares that you want but this would be another addition to the second keyboard you need to play this game the next one has to do with weathers and maps i would like weather in general to have another look at due to cloud cover and the way that fog works and the lack of just uh, I, I guess different weather modes the game really suffers from intense cloud cover and over coverage to the point where clouds are killing any form of competitive element left that the game has it's also uh, just generally very unpleasing to fly through a cloud for 12 minutes and it hasn't entered because it's from 100 meters to 6000 meters across the map there are other instances where Know, the fog just sits there right as you're taking off and i mean this is a characteristic of some areas in the real world but for the most part you know clouds and air rb need to be uh, changed they need to be reformed or they need to be looked at properly and instead of this whatever random weather cycle they've got in they need to actually look at what would happen in the real world and have them set at an altitude where maybe there is still visibility below the clouds maybe this could also be a rework and maybe introduce some more turbulence at the moment you only get that one flying near another aircraft maybe instead there should be more some wind effects although knowing guys and they probably overdo it like they have all the trees flopping around at current in ground forces uh, another change uh, in terms of game mechanics base bombing should not have a five minute timer when most top tier matches barely last five minutes in the current meta unless you're on larger maps the five minute timer should not exist in a period because that's uh, really counterproductive to the types of engagements people want to actually do and if you want to be a bomber pilot go for it be a bomber pilot but stop restricting people's play styles and stop restricting map areas just because you need to justify a change particularly when you removed all the aircraft carriers or, or you know all maps are feature that they have an ocean for example uh, and you basically have nowhere to either land or you basically force us to play uh, naval fighters as regular aircraft and sometimes it's nice to take off and land from an aircraft carrier but having that option is really nice and again adding back the aircraft carriers would allow naval strike aircraft to actually perform a, a role that they're de designated for now unfortunately there's no way that will bring back historical battles even though those were my favorite types of engagements the game's kind of moved on and galjan don't seem interested at all in putting a an extra strain or an extra level to as a matchmaker so you know maybe removal of crew lock uh, would be a more common uh, example to have in case you crash or have bad network or ha have something because waiting five minutes to get another five uh, minute 16 versus 16 match is kind of a bit of a waste of time speaking of waste of time do you like taking off i mean taking off and landing is a critical part of aviation it's one of the fundamental things you have to do in order to get back on the ground but uh, at the start of a match you should be allowed like you used to be able to on certain maps particularly i think it was china city or china province uh, you should be allowed to just have an air spawn uh, rather than have a a ground forced uh, takeoff now it would be incredibly hard to balance that but maybe only limit it to 11.0 and above jets and maybe we can go from there but i also like to see this function extended to air spawn for test drives allowing us to skip the takeoff and actually feel the flight performance of a given aircraft that we want to actually test and i think that is about it of course i could talk about new game modes new maps the map design the way that maps are just horribly designed these days linear in focus with two airfields either one side and a bunch of bombing bases and ground targets in between absolutely boring bring back the boats uh, to to air realistic battles and allow us to you know actually get some of our achievements and things now what happened to norway for example that'd be an interesting match for jets uh, i don't know there's heaps of things you could talk about battle rating decompression new additions new armament types new mechanics 
uh, radar changes, weather changes, uh, the, the, I, I don't know, the list goes on. So again, let me know in the comments down below what you think of what I've suggested here today. I'd be very interested to know your opinion. And otherwise, uh, $80 premium tanks have just launched, so I don't think I'll be covering that in any degree as it's really not viable and not really my uh, thing. But if you want to buy an $80 premium tank, my link to my decal is in the description down below and you get a three percent off but yeah uh look there's probably other changes too like more custom loadouts for aircraft and uh, i don't know the, the, I'm, I'm already buzzing with ideas but i think we'll save those for another day so this has been i guess i'll look at a few suggestions uh, hopefully i've explained them well enough i'm not particularly good with my words so uh, let, let, let's just end the video here. I'm now waffling. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one soon. Bye-bye.